How to get a full body strength training workout at home strength training, also called weight training or resistance training, is an important part of any fitness routine. It helps make you stronger and also builds muscle endurance. With strength training, you move your body against some type of resistance, such as your body weight free weights, like dumbbells or barbells resistance bands, also known as resistance tubing or workout bands resistance machines, like cable machines, single exercise machines, or multi-gym system strength training is a versatile type of workout that you can do almost anywhere. While it's a popular exercise option at many gyms, you can also build a robust strength training program that you can do in the comfort and privacy of your home. This article will help you understand what you need to get started with an at-home strength training routine, along with examples of exercises that you can include in your workout plan. What are the benefits of strength training? Research has shown that strength training can benefit your health and fitness in many different ways. According to the Mayo Clinic, strength training may help build lean muscle mass reduce body fat burn calories more efficiently, even after you've exercised boost metabolism and make weight loss easier increase bone density and improve bone health boost flexibility and improve range of motion improve brain health and cognitive functions reduce the symptoms of many chronic conditions, including back pain, diabetes, arthritis, and heart disease improve posture, balance, and stability raise energy levels improve mood and overall sense of well-being what are the benefits of working out at home? A home-based exercise routine can be a super easy and convenient way of fitting in a workout without having to hit the gym. Benefits it saves time. There's no traveling or waiting for machines or equipment. It's low cost. There are no gym fees or expensive equipment needed. Work out anytime. You can exercise on your own schedule, no matter the time of day or night. Privacy. You can work out without feeling self-conscious. Go at your own pace. There's no pressure to keep up with those around you or to push yourself beyond what's comfortable. Getting started once you're ready to start putting together your strength training workout, the first step is to find a place in your home where you can exercise comfortably. You'll want to find an area that has enough room for you to move your arms and legs freely. You don't need to invest in much equipment, but if you do want to purchase a few items, here are some that may be helpful. An exercise mat resistance bands or tubing dumbbells a kettlebell a stability ball a medicine ball instead of using dumbbells or a kettlebell. You can improvise by using water bottles, sandbags, or canned goods in place of the weights. If you're just getting started with strength training, you may want to find a strength training workout for beginners online. This can help you learn how to do different exercises with the right form, and also warm up and cool down correctly. Start with a warm-up before starting your workout. Do a warm-up routine for at least 5 to 10 minutes. This can include brisk walking, jogging on the spot, or movements that work your legs, arms, and other major muscle groups. Healthline newsletter get our twice-weekly wellness email to inspire you to exercise and eat well, We'll send you our top health tips and stories, plus must-read news. Bodyweight strength training exercises Once your muscles are warmed up and ready to move, you can start by doing a series of bodyweight exercises. You don't need any equipment for bodyweight exercises, except an exercise mat if the floor is too hard. With each of these exercises, use smooth, steady, and controlled movements. Lunges A basic lunge works the muscles in your lower body, including your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. To do this exercise, start by standing up tall, feet shoulder width apart. Step forward with your right foot, and lower your hips toward the floor until your right leg is at a 90 degree angle and your left knee is parallel to the ground. Make sure your front knee doesn't go beyond your toes. Lengthen your spine to keep your torso upright. Hold this position for 5 seconds or longer. Then step your right foot back to meet your left, and repeat this movement with your left leg. Repeat 10 to 12 times, then rest briefly and do another set. Lunge variations include walking lunges, jumping lunges, lunges with a torso twist, and side lunges. Squat to overhead raise If you're new to strength training, start off by raising your arms overhead without any weight. Once you can do this exercise with good form, you can add light dumbbells, and increase the weight as you build strength. This exercise not only works your glutes and leg muscles, it also works the muscles in your core, back, and shoulders, as well as your triceps. To do this exercise, 
Stand with your feet slightly wider than your hips and your arms alongside your body. Slowly lower your hips down into a squat position. Press up to come back into standing and raise your arms overhead. Return to the starting position. Do 1 to 3 sets of 8 to 12 repetitions. Planks planks are an excellent exercise for improving your core strength and stability. This exercise can also strengthen the muscles in your back, chest, and shoulders. To do this exercise, rest in your forearms and toes only, keeping your body in a straight line with your buttocks clenched and your abdominal muscles engaged. Try to hold this position for 30 seconds. If that's too hard, start with 20 seconds. As you gain strength and fitness, try to hold the plank position for one minute or longer. Once you're ready for a more challenging version of the plank, you can try lifting one leg at a time while you're holding the plank position. Push-ups Standard push-ups work the chest muscles, pectorals, as well as the shoulder muscles, triceps, and abdominals. To do this exercise, start in a plank position with your palms directly under your shoulders. Keeping your back flat and bracing your core, lower your body by bending your elbows until your chest almost touches the floor. Immediately push your body back up to the starting position. Repeat 8 to 12 times. Start with 1 to 2 sets, and build up to 3 sets as you get stronger. A less challenging version of the push-up can be done by putting your weight on your knees instead of your toes. More challenging push-up variations include plyo push-ups, close stance push-ups, and decline push-ups. Free weight exercises The following two exercises use dumbbells. Start with a 5-pound dumbbells. As you build up your strength, you can switch to using 8 or 10-pound dumbbells. You can also use canned goods or water bottles in place of dumbbells. Just be sure to grip them firmly to avoid injury. Dumbbell shoulder press This exercise targets the muscles in your shoulders and arms, and can also strengthen your core and chest muscles. To do this exercise, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Pick up the dumbbells and raise them to shoulder height. Your palms can face forward or toward your body. Raise the dumbbells above your head until your arms are fully extended. Pause in this position for a few seconds, and then bring the dumbbells back to shoulder height. Do 1 to 3 sets of 8 to 12 repetitions. Dumbbell triceps kickback This exercise works your triceps as well as your shoulder muscles. To do this exercise, grab two dumbbells and hold one in each hand. Bend your torso at a 45 degree. against gravity. Lie on your back and lift your feet off the ground. Bend your knees, creating a 90-degree angle. Flex your feet, pointing your toes upward. Wrap the resistance band around your feet and hold the ends. 
Press your feet against the bands until your legs are fully extended. Bend your knees to return to a 90 degree angle. Do 1 to 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps. How to cool down Finish your workout by cooling down for about 5 to 10 minutes. This allows your breathing and heart rate to transition into a resting state. Options include walking on the spot and gentle stretches. The bottom line doing 30 to 45 minutes of strength training 2 to 3 times a week is an excellent way of building lean muscle mass, burning calories, and boosting your metabolism. This, in turn, can help you burn body fat and make weight loss easier. In addition, strength training can strengthen your bones and joints, lower your risk of chronic diseases, improve flexibility, posture, and balance, and boost your mood and energy levels. Many strength training exercises can be done in the comfort and privacy of your home, using just your body weight or basic, low-cost equipment as resistance. If you have any health concerns or an injury that makes exercising difficult, talk to your doctor or a certified personal trainer before you start an at-home strength training routine.